Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Copeland Visuals. Today, we're talking about how to turn your Canon DSLR, whether it's a Canon T3i, T5i, Canon 7D, Canon 5D Mark III, all of those cameras and more can be turned into a cinematic powerhouse using Magic Lantern. Let's check it out. Okay, so Magic Lantern is basically a software that runs on top of your our existing Canon software. I'm not gonna go over how to install Magic Lantern in this video, but there will be videos in the description on how to do that. Plenty of in-depth, very uh, well put together tutorials on how to install and how to use Magic Lantern. So definitely go check those out if you don't already have Magic Lantern installed. Once you've installed Magic Lantern, you're gonna want to go into your firmware menu, update the firmware, and it'll give you some things. It'll tell you to restart your camera, etc., etc., and you'll have Magic Lantern installed. Magic Lantern can do tons and tons and tons of features. I'm gonna go over a couple here that are my personal favorites. The first thing that you get within Magic Lantern is you get waveforms and vector scopes, which really don't come with any Canon cameras. This really, really powerful exposure and color tools are going to allow you to master the exposure and white balance of your camera and produce an awesome, awesome image. It doesn't just give you the preview on your monitor because that preview can be misleading. It actually gives you numbers, which are powerful, powerful tools to use your camera. I'm also going to leave links in the description to videos on what waveforms and vector scopes are because they're quite complicated. But once you learn how to use them, they're awesome, awesome tools. Definitely go check those out. The next thing that this camera does is give you audio levels. I'm looking at my audio levels right now on my flip out LCD stream of the T3i and it's just really nice to see that I'm not clipping right now. If I were to scream into the microphone, I'm going to build down the audio so you don't have to take off your headphones. It turns red and tells me that uh, I just screamed in a microphone. And it's really nice to be able to check your levels in live view while recording. It's just a really handy tool. The next thing that I use a ton is the custom white balance. Uh, you can set your white balance down to the 100th Calvin mark. It's really, really handy. I'm using it right now. And uh, it allows you to give a very stylized look. Since this I am shooting a neutral color production. profile right now, uh, and this is heavily graded footage, it's not gonna really gonna come across, but it sure is nice to be able to set your white balance to the correct calibre. The next thing that is super, super powerful is focus peaking. Focus peaking allows you to make sure that your subject is in focus. It puts little red dots around uh, the area that's in focus. So right now my eyes and my face have little red dots around them in my LCD. I'm looking at them right now. That's why I'm looking off to the side instead of at the left because the LCD is on the side. Um, and that just makes sure that you're in focus. So if I go this, if I go this way, the red dots disappear because I'm not in focus. Anymore. Over here, now I'm in focus and uh, you can see those red dots, which is reassurance that you truly are in focus. The next thing that I really, really love about Magic Lantern is zebras. It's going to show you what parts of you are overexposed. So those things in the background, those little icons on my computer screen, those are actually have little marks on them that show that they are overexposed. Um, this is a very, very powerful tool. It's going to show you where that you cannot bring down the, you're, you're losing detail is basically what it's going to show you. Um, awesome, awesome exposure tool and just general assistance in reassuring that your shot is indeed exposed correctly. And the last thing that I really, really love about Magic Lantern is it has a built-in intervalometer, meaning that you can set it to take a picture every five seconds, every four seconds, every two seconds, every one second, so you can make time lapses out of those stills. This is a very powerful tool, and I haven't really gotten a chance to play around with it too much, although I have made a couple of time lapses with it. They're really, really awesome, and it's a really powerful tool. The last thing it allows you to do is record in very, very low frame rates. So you can record in one frame per second, so you get that blurred video footage look, and then you speed up that in post, and you can get an awesome, 
awesome blurry time lapse that kind of simulates what the intervalometry can do with long exposure photography. It's way, way easier to do that and you can do it with no matter what software you use to edit your videos. If that doesn't sell you on Magic Lantern, I don't know what will. you got to download this if you have a Canon camera. I'm going to leave the Magic Lantern link in the description so you can check and see if your camera is available. And if it isn't, you can always partner with Magic Lantern to try to get it done faster. They're currently working on the 7D and I think a couple, or the, the 7DD, sorry, uh, and a couple other cameras. Awesome, awesome software. You gotta go check it out. Link in the description. It's completely free, no, no charge whatsoever. Link in the description. This is a Chucky Beat production. production.